While it has been common knowledge that more and more people in the future will be losing their jobs due to advancements in artificial intelligence, nobody knew just how soon and in which field people would be pushed out of their professions due to artificial intelligence. Just last week, the Google AI subsidiary, Waymo, started pushing their artificial intelligence into one of the most popular job with a rather low barrier of entry. Welcome to this episode of AI News. In today's episode, I will be showing you which field we can expect very soon to be fully taken over by robots, when that will happen and what the consequences of that will be. Last month, the technology startup company, Too Simple, delivered a truckload of watermelons in an incredible duration of 10 hours, faster than a regular trip across Texas would take. For approximately 90% of said drive, they used a completely new type of automated driving technology which was created specifically for trucks instead of taxis or regular cars. The test drive went really well, and it marked the start of a collaboration between Too Simple and product distributor Gamara. Too Simple got one of the first of such agreements in the trucking industry, but now, another major competitor in the autonomous vehicle space has come along. The Google subsidiary, Waymo, may soon pose a threat. Although Waymo is best known for its self-driving taxi service in a Phoenix city, the company has been experimenting with applying its autonomous technology to freight trucks for several years. In 2018, it began putting those trucks through their paces in the Atlanta area. The cooperation with a large trucking company is what makes this story noteworthy. Waymo announced a partnership with JB Hunt, a transportation logistics company, to deliver freight in driverless vehicles in Texas yesterday. The first route they'll drive through is between Houston and Fort Worth, which Waymo describes as one of the country's most heavily used freight arteries. Much of the route, which is roughly 260 miles long, is a straight shot on Interstate 45. Human safety drivers are present for safety reasons for now since some city driving aspects can be much more tricky for the trucks compared to taxis, but the idea is to use the automated system as much as possible. A software technician will also be on board, which is understandable given that software will be handling the majority of the driving. Waymo has been testing self-driving trucks in Texas since last August, when it opened a hub in Dallas from which to dispatch its fleet of 18-wheelers equipped with cameras, litter, and onboard computers. It's no wonder that Texas is seeing so much driverless action. The state's moderate temperature and extensive highway network provide plenty of opportunities to drive and plenty of time to do so throughout the year. Plus, a 2017 bill permits vehicles to operate without a human present. In driving, there are five levels of automation, or six if you include level zero where there is no automation at all and a human driver is in complete control at all times. The vehicle can drive itself in cities, on highways, and on country roads in any weather condition, including rain, sun, and fog, at level five, which is considered full autonomy. Waymo's technology got dubbed Waymo Driver, which according to them is, the world's most experienced driver. It is classified as level 4, meaning it may operate without the assistance of a safety driver in some circumstances. Waymo's executive vice president said that, this will be one of the first opportunities to get data and comments on customer freight carried with a class 8 tractor operating at this level of autonomy. Unlike Elon Musk's Tesla autonomy, which has a huge fleet all across the world actively capturing data that in turn trains the artificial intelligence that powers the Tesla's autonomous driving capabilities, Waymo went the route of slowly rolling out their robo-taxis in a single city and focusing on making the driving inside of that single city as perfect as possible. Other differences in the way they work are Waymo's use of litter technology which is simply said, a sort of radar that shoots thousands of invisible lasers into the environment which then gives the car a completely accurate and detailed map of its surroundings, and another difference would be Waymo's use of manually created high-definition maps. Tesla uses neither of those technologies and attempts to solve self-driving by relying completely on the car's vision through regular cameras. Which one of those two ways of going about it is going to work out the best in the end, is up for debate until either of those companies manages to produce a car that can autonomously drive without intervention in any scenario given to them. Despite fears about job losses due to automation in trucking, proponents argue that not only will self-driving technology help cover a continuing driver shortage, but it would also enhance road safety and reduce food waste by allowing cargo to arrive at their final destinations faster. 
According to experts in the field of logistics and trucking, it's going to take some more time until autonomous trucks become a real threat. They believe that highly competent, professional drivers will be required for many years to come, but that autonomous technologies would greatly increase efficiency and safety. But it's also important to recognize that certain trucking fleet operators are more likely than others to implement automation technology first. For example, in warehousing and transportation, for hire and private carriers have typically been faster to embrace truck technology, such as onboard computers, than those that carry their own freight in other industries. If we just look at long-haul tractor trailers in for hire transportation and warehousing, the initial effects of automation would directly and instantly affect about 19% of trucks, or about 342,000 drivers to lose their jobs due to automation. There are additional operational and regulatory roadblocks that could stymie the rapid implementation of Level 4 technology. One is that vehicles break down while on the road for a variety of reasons, and we don't yet have the infrastructure in place to quickly service self-driving trucks and prevent freight theft. Another difficulty is that interstate trucking is a complicated process involving numerous parties. The federal government establishes safety standards for automobiles, but states license drivers and vehicles, enact traffic regulations, and regulate the size and weight of trucks that can be driven on public roads, while municipal governments regulate truck use on local streets and parking. Diverse jurisdictions are already taking different approaches to autonomous regulation, with some prohibiting the use of Level 4 technology. All of these facts indicate that millions of heavy truck driving jobs are unlikely to be lost anytime soon. While the statistics aren't as bad as some of the mainstream media's headlines imply, truck driving is a big industry that is already facing substantial problems as a result of business cycle swings, increasingly complicated supply networks, and shifting worker demographics. This emphasizes the need of having a thorough grasp of the difficulties that the sector will face over the next decade, particularly those posed by automation. So I, I, I'm extremely confident that level five or, or essentially complete autonomy will be with, uh, will happen. And I think it will happen very quickly. Um, I think at Tesla, we, we, I feel like we're very close to level five autonomy. I, I, I remain confident that uh, we will have the functionality for the basic functionality for level five autonomy uh, complete this year. Um, the the thing to appreciate for level five autonomy is really um, what level of safety is acceptable for the public streets um, relative to human safety, and then uh, so is it, is it, is it enough to be twice as safe as humans? Like I I do not think that the uh, regulators will accept equivalent safety to humans. So the question is, will it be twice as safe as the requirement, three times as safe, five times as safe, 10 times as safe? So you can think of really level five autonomy as kind of like a march of nines. Like, do you have 99.99% uh, safety, 99.99999%? .99 How many nines do you want? Of and what is the acceptable level? So what is your personal opinion on Waymo's new goal of not only replacing taxi drivers but instead to also replace a large majority of truck drivers in the very near future? The advantages in terms of safety and speed of delivery are likely to be felt by pretty much everyone in the common population. The loss of jobs may pose a problem as a decent percentage of truck drivers aren't well enough educated to be able to easily pick up another profession? So does this sort of automation offer us a net positive or not? Please tell us in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.